thanks for tuning in to Fragrance Ninja. I hope everything's going well with you and yours. Uh, I was taking a trip down memory lane today and uh, thinking about an old fragrance from way back in the day that started me on my niche journey. And that was Virgin Island Water by Creed. Came across this fragrance, must have been 2008. And back in the 90s, not to date myself, but back in the 90s, I was a uh, Isimiyaki, uh, Perry Ellis, uh, America, kind of a Yoke Night Flight kind of guy. And one thing happened to me one time, I was out with my cousin and he was picking up his girlfriend at the time and she actually got in the car and she said, which one y'all has on Isimiyaki? And I was like, well, it's me. And so the first thing I did when I got home with him, I took that ball and gave it to him, done with it. Because anyone that can call out my fragrance like that, that really wasn't into fragrances, it was too common. And that is what started me looking for other fragrances that weren't so common. So first things first, I went to some high-end retail stores and that's when I stumbled upon Virgin Island Water. And the first time I smelled it, I was just blown away. I just could not believe, still kind of blown away, the coconut, the lime, the, the sugar, uh, the rum, all just that concoction was just so wonderful that I had to have it. And I was forever changed at that point because I wanted exclusive fragrances from then on. Yeah, I still dabble in the uh, kind of the designer fragrances, but mainly when I'm wearing something, I'm wearing a lot of niche fragrances. And yes, that smell is, man, 10 out of 10 smell wise. Now, yeah, performance kind of sucks all mighty monkey balls, but I don't really mind because it smells that good. And it still, even to this day, smells that unique. Uh, it's been a couple of attempts to clone it. People say things smell like it, but in all honesty, the only on, duo fragrances got close. Respect that. They got really close and, well, we family, right? We just, just us talking, nobody else here. If both of these fragrances, let's say 100 ml of this was $100 and 50 mLs of Duo was $100, I'd buy the Duo. Duo fragrances did a good job. Performance is a lot better, but don't tell anybody that. Uh, because I'm kind of handcuffed myself as far as being a purist, whatever, you know, in this game, whatever that bullshit entails. But I always want the original of the clones. I don't want clones, I rarely wear them. Sometimes clones are even better than the original, but I'm handcuffed. Just, just my own personal hang up with that it is what it is. But this Virgin Island Water started me on my journey in 2008. So it's been about 12 years running now, uh, just smelling unique out of everything. But this always has a special place in my heart based on that alone. Just the simple fact that I'm in awe of things that smell unique. Not bad, unique. Smell good, unique. Don't smell like your ex, whatever, your brother, your uncle, your dad, none of that. Unique. That's just me, my personal gut. But that's all I got. I just wanted to touch down for a minute and talk about how I started on this fragrance journey when it came to niche. Virgin Island Water by Creed. You gotta love it. Hey, but until next time, y'all be good.